Hey, so this is how my character looks in game. And honestly, guys, I don't think this looks bad at all. to a brand new episode of roblox today guys we have a new style of video today guys we are actually making a brand new roblox shirt for those of you guys that don't know i've had merch out for a very 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 long time i'm wearing it right now link for this will be down in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves but basically i've had merch out for a while guys and the roblox merch that i actually am wearing in game is somewhat similar to this right but i kind of made it when i didn't really know how to make roblox shirts too well and i just didn't really know how it worked so today guys what i'm going to be doing since it is changing seasons it's about to be fall and then it's going to be winter i'm going to go ahead and make a brand new roblox hoodie but i want it to actually resemble my shirt a lot more so i'm gonna make in two designs guys there's going to be a black version and a white version i'm pretty sure the white version is a lot easier to make uh just because i don't really need to mess with anything too much but we're gonna go ahead and uh, do all of that in photoshop and then upload it into roblox and hopefully it turns out pretty well what i did before guys when i was making shirts is i kind of downloaded like a template and then i put that in instead this time around what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go ahead and create a layer in photoshop where i'll basically use the bucket tool and i'm going to paint myself a white background real quick yes and see what i'm doing i'm showing you guys literally exactly how to make a, a roblox thing right here so then we're gonna go ahead and do that and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna polygonal tool this uh this color like this area out right here oh so now what i'm gonna do guys is i'm gonna drag in two files i have this file right here i just named it texture and basically this gives the hoodie some texture and you guys can see right here it looks really really good already this is just like a blank open like texture thing that i found online so we're gonna go ahead and use that and then also i have a hoodie outline because i honestly i don't know how to make it myself so i found this hoodie outline online as well but now now that everything is in multiple layers guys i can make the shirt look a lot better so real quick though i'm gonna go ahead and grab the erase tool right here and I need to just erase some stuff down at the bottom because right here, I believe this is where the hands are, guys. And I don't really want anything right there. So I'm going to make sure that uh, everything on this side of things is just erased. That way it doesn't make my hands look weird. So here it is. All right, this is what we got so far. It looks pretty good. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead. All right, so that's a full white now. And then now, guys, this is when I actually start dragging my logo. So this is the easy part. This is why I said the, uh, the white hoodie would actually look really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and pull from my merch folder on my computer. We're going to go ahead and uh, grab this right here. So essentially, you guys can see, that's what I'm wearing right now, except I'm wearing it in shirt form. So let me just go ahead and uh, zoom in like this. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that this is actually underneath the hoodie uh, outline. That way, a little bit of it still covers it. So simple like that, just kind of right in the middle. Looks pretty uh, clean and simple. Like, this is actually really, really, really easy, guys. So it's done right there. Bam, that's a hoodie. Like that, that's literally, that's literally a hoodie right there. I did it in what, like a minute or so? So now I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust uh, where I want it to go. And I think overall, that should look pretty good. See, now I don't know if I want to add anything else because my hoodie right now is I have like a flower right here and then this text actually right there. But I kind of wanted it in the front. I feel like it shows my brand a lot better. So that's kind of why I'm uh, remaking everything. So I mean, this looks good. I kind of want to see what this looks like in different colors though. Like say I were to do this in a red, that looks kind of atrocious. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drag in the white logo here the uh, the white hyper uh, floral logo and then we're gonna go ahead and drop it uh right above the black logo and we're gonna actually size them up like the same that way i can just kind of see what the white logo looks like on certain colors too because it might look better in some circumstances it might not i don't really know but uh, i figured i might as well test it out because it's worth a shot so let's go ahead and do that and then we're gonna go ahead and hide the black layer right there i mean i think it's just the color red that i don't like you know what i'm saying like this color of red maybe Oh, this looks kind of fire. This actually looks kind of nice. This is like a uh, maroon. Okay, I might actually, uh, I might actually do something with this. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. Let me go ahead and move this uh, a little bit centered. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you guys want a maroon colored uh, hyper shirt? Because this actually looks pretty sick. I can adjust how the uh, 
the texture is too by uh, switching the color over here like i can make this like uh can i actually do anything with this does that work does that do anything okay never mind i lied that doesn't actually do anything uh actually let me let me play around with it a little bit let me see if i can uh let me see if like anything okay okay i can actually i can change this uh pretty well by putting it on screen doesn't look too good though so i'm just kind of gonna leave it as it is i think that looks pretty good if i were to release that as a uh, maroon but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh put this back to a white color real quick guys and then we're gonna go ahead and save the black shirt so let me go ahead and save as real quick we're gonna save this into png it's going to be hyper shirt black two point oh wait this is the white shirt white 2.0 i can't type so there we go we have a, a white shirt 2.0 and now, guys, we got to get into making the black shirt, all right? So we're going to go ahead, obviously, change the color overlay to uh, full black. You guys can see it looks kind of funky, okay? Because you guys don't see the texture of, like, anything anymore. And that kind of makes it look a little weird. What I actually need to do is I need to change the texture to a different color. So I need to make it, like, a bit brighter. You guys can see now it pops up. And then we're going to go ahead and get rid of this and then throw that on. But now the problem is y'all can't see the outline. So I got to go ahead and change the hoodie outline now to a not full white color because I honestly don't think that looks that good. Instead, I'm going to change it to like a dark gray. So where like it like shows up, but like it doesn't really show up. It's very, very, very simple though. You like you guys can obviously tell it looks good in my opinion. Uh, but let's go ahead and just mess around with it. Uh, center this just a little bit. I think that honestly looks fine to be honest with you guys. Like it doesn't look bad necessarily. I feel like there's something else I could add. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys know what I can add to this. But I think overall everything pops properly. And once again, I'm gonna go ahead and just save this and then. I might actually just save the maroon one as well. So let's see here. Hyper, hyper shirt black 2.0. Okay. So now that we've saved the hyper shirt black, I got to go ahead and upload both of these to Roblox. But what I'm also going to do, guys, is I'm also going to make a maroon shirt as well because you guys seemed to like that. So I'm just going to do it and just see what happens. Just going to, I'm just going to see what it looks like, to be honest. So here it is so far and then we're gonna go ahead and change this color back to black that way it stands out actually let me what does this look like white ah uh, no, i don't really like that okay so now actually we're gonna go ahead and make this uh maybe like a really dark gray so where you can see it but like I, what do i want to do that i'm not creative guys i'm like i'm letting y'all know right now i'm not creative i am very 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 basic when it comes to this okay so now we gotta go uh type in hyper shirt maroon all right so now we got three new shirts, all right? We got three pretty uh, new outfits. I kind of want to do something with the uh, the black logo as well. But for that, I'm going to need this on a bright color. And I don't really think anything looks good necessarily. Like, I mean, I could do any of these. Oh my gosh, this, this, looks, like a, this looks like a hyper team turtle like collab thing dude what the heck let me know if you guys want this yellow shirt i don't i don't really know i don't know how i feel about it i'm kind of just uh playing around with a bunch of uh, i guess like random colors right now just to see how everything looks like uh dark green no none of these really look good to be honest with you guys i uh, like the white design kind of just goes with everything so I, I guess i'm just gonna leave it at that the only thing the black design really goes with is this and i feel like like would it look better no 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 it, it only works with the black design so let me know if you guys want this i could drop something like this in the future just as like a meme i don't really know so we're gonna go ahead and save this as a, a shirt template real quick and a PSD uh, right there. And now, guys, we got to go ahead and implement all of this into Roblox. So now we are in the Roblox develop page, guys, uh, under my creations and under shirts. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and upload both of, or I guess like all three of the shirts. And then I believe there is like this Roblox catalog game that we could join in and uh, I guess see how everything looks on us. And so all three have been successfully uploaded. Now, really, all I need to do is wait, to be honest with you guys. That's kind of it's kind of all I really can do at this point. The Roblox needs to accept them. But it is pretty late at night whenever I'm filming this, though. So I don't really know how long this is going to take. All right, guys. So it's been about a full day. All right. It took some time for the shirts to get accepted by Roblox. But you guys can see on the screen, we have the maroon hoodie. We have the white hoodie right here and the black hoodie. Let's go ahead and try all of these on. And honestly, like... In my opinion, guys, they don't look too bad. It definitely does look uh, a little different than what I had before. 
but nonetheless they all look pretty good so let's just go ahead and i guess like try all of them on that way we can see i can kind of test it in the roblox like catalog thing too but uh to be honest with you guys i am uh, i'm kind of lazy so that's why i uh haven't checked it and something on my like body looks weird this arm looks weird i just realized i was actually using the wrong body part so that's probably why the, uh, the outfit didn't look as good i think this looks pretty clean and pretty simple let's go ahead and try on the uh the black hoodie as well i mean it looks pretty good all right i might make some changes but before i actually put these on sale on roblox let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think i should do to all of these and it's actually kind of weird i think this maroon one is actually my favorite it looks uh it looks pretty interesting now i believe there is a roblox like uh i think it's called a catalog viewer or something like that there's a catalog game all right catalog heaven or is it i don't know this is the one with the most players on it so we're gonna go ahead and uh hop on it just to see what my character looks like so hopefully it's good hey so this is how my character looks in game and honestly guys i don't think this looks bad at all this might be our official like brand new shirt let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below personally i like it and actually while we're on here let me just see what this is all about like can i can i look up like random hyper stuff or is this ah dang it this is only uh this is only full on catalog stuff dang it dude i literally thought i'd be able to go into my inventory and just try things on in game here but sadly that is not the case either way though guys i think this looks really 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 good once again let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and uh i'll probably release these about in a day or so i don't really know but uh it all depends on your guys' input down in the comment section but anyways i will see you guys next time thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe as well as turn on post notifications for this video and uh or this channel and uh, anyways i will see you guys next time thank you guys so much for watching yo if you guys want uh, some dank back to school merch Link down in the description box below, hyperparel.co. I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all. Peace.